Regis! Damn it. Locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliché can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Mm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Abruxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Covinares' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Oblitera. 
There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovanarius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it, just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Covinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Dedloff's hideout. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen, and the ornamentation. It comes from our home, where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here. Guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely and the reason why I, in turn, gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison, to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. <sighs> Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Was that a raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area. And I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect to your skills, my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake. Not really in the mood for your concoctions, especially given how they make you say things you'd rather keep to yourself. Remember that aspect very well. Geralt of Rivia, do I detect a guilty conscience? Word is, only those ashamed of the truth seek to conceal it. Not about to fall for that. Forget it. Need a nap, and that's how I'm going to use this time. Ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. 
It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something. <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt, I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse, in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or well, the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought. Uh, but the salivary glands will do fine, indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. Ah, am I invisible? Swift oh, oh, my.
guests. <laughs> Never a good omen. Show me what you got. sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Die. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally, still searching for the right spoon. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. The spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. White's obsessed. Real collector, thoroughbred. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. Woman's name 
was scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Broken neck, indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. A spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Cauldron I was looking for. White's not particularly tidy. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. It is empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. White's obsessed, real collector. Thoroughbred. Catch it. Seems I'll have to kill the white in its own junkie.
think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our Codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Send your spies after me? My watchers. Were something to go wrong, I could then arrive quickly to help. Managed fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. All right, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesham Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesham Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium. A solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. 
The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher level of blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once. Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this man and no other. This was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care? This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. Morally suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. Great many beings have read their last here. Glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of... Uh, well, what you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My aunt. the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east and beyond the Blue Mountains. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Cells? Who for? Ah, disgraceful. Excruciatingly so, this particular page for my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and dead loves. We both remained in this part of the world. Whose is this cliff? Amarun. They ventured beyond the sea. Symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains.
charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, scent shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Three done, one left. Think this'll work? I certainly hope so. The meat stench is so thick I wager it carries clear to no Said, but now I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kind of thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent of us on my head. I started spinning. Is that the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what do you do once I have to do? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. We just have smell the blood.
on, I'll let you out. finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better, thank you. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax, got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jumped the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What?
Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaff had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A bootblack stand. Detlef first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the bootblack acted as if he knew Detlef. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Well, I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. <laughs>